generation imebaki kuna chance ya ku change na ku reform yeah. position si kazi hiyo kwangu naweza sema si kazi hiyo si kazi kwa life ya ya and i like you brought some, something very important out because many people look at it as a problem for those ones mm. the ones in the street mm. but she's mentioned something about your parent at home your child is at one of the prestigious universities mm. but you don't know what they're doing mm. yeah other than that so mm. it could be anyone it it's just be. that sometimes you don't know mm. it's affecting the mighty the high and mighty and also the lowest person mm. in the society right you see prostitution haichagui yeah. it's like aids haichagui nani atapata na nani atapata no okay it is a decision mm. you have people need to know the nation of kenya needs to know it is your choice to become a sex worker it is your choice to leave mm. no one forced you to go there we have a, you can't tell me it's poverty poverty is just an excuse yes. people have excuses for everything oh it's raining i went to work late you know mm. people are saying poverty mm. in your village wherever you are you are not the only poor person yes. mm. there are also other poor people the parents took loans walienda vibarua kuchimba kulima mashamba za watu wengine wakapata do so don't tell me it's a career mm. it is out of your own choice you have decided to become an a sex object mm. and it's still your choice to come out and decide enough is enough, enough. Yeah. and i'm getting so many comments i want to take us through them very quickly yeah. just what some of the people are saying mm. and in, indeed most of them in, not all just applauding uh, your strength and what you've been able to do miss angela saying shout out to jane and rehab renewed she knows your great handle yeah. uh, for the initiative they started and for coming out with their story Clinton also saying, oh, what a lovely story. The ladies, uh, that they are back and really that God is great for life that they've been able to recapture and move on with their lives. Um, Olaka saying rehab is doing a good job. It's all about uh, poverty for some people. But how is it that even the working class are in prostitution? Mm. Uh, just what you're trying to say. And it's yeah. re re really demystifying the issue because it's not just the poor mm. uh, that are getting into this, as you're saying. Mm. Uh, Edwin, I take this time to congratulate the two. The brave act of bravery, they deserve a pat on the back. So inspiring. We're glad you're getting inspired. Uh, Reha Bumunzu, you're very strong. May God bless you uh, and the best mom to your children as well and very many comments and thank you all who are taking the time uh, to just uh, tweet us and also send your comments this morning but you're married now uh, yes, have you been able to just put that together yeah uh, take us through that how it happened I don't really want to get into the details yes. right now mm -hmm. but I'm happily married to one man mm -hmm. and when I told him my past he's man enough he told me listen honey your past does not define your future right you have a great future it doesn't matter what you did all of us have a past it's just that yours was sex mine was alcohol or you mine was sex yours was something else mm. so it's about fine after all's been said and done been there done that and bought a t-shirt where are you going what's your next step mm. after what you've done mm. and i discovered this is someone who challenged me to think of where i'm mm. going and he, my husband is the one who actually pushed me to start helping come out and to start helping people who want to get out of the streets yeah 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 because some people join what they will go through this what are talker from this um lifestyle but wengine wataonge about it they're still filled with shame mm -hmm. kwako what gives you that courage and confidence to still talk about it uh, unashamedly okay by the way kuna kitu moja ni challenge kwa bible in the mm -hmm. first corinthians 317 inasema this is the temple of the holy spirit mm -hmm. time i realize i'm the temple of the holy spirit nilianza kuona ile life si poa mm -hmm. secondly au mabesto wangu wenye tuseme example wanaweza ni challenge sometimes pia wao wanaona tu challenge kama sasa mimi okay mimi pangu sijaolewa but niko na watoto wawili but wananiambia ngaje uliyezaje kutoka watu wengi dhania ti kutoka lazima ukuwe na bwana kutoka lazima uko uko na pesa kutoka lazima ukuwe wanasema ngambe bima piga mfuko ndio wache hiyo life ni wewe mwenyewe unaonanga pia unaumia upande mwingine si wanga bado tunaumia unakuta una dem kama unamwambia kuna ku change kwa sababu ya maisha yako second unakuta pia mar, pia marriage ziko na shida mm. kwa sababu utakuta hazia ameacha ifika amekuja hiyo inange na ataacha watoto wake kwa sababu yako so unakuta pia machozi ya watu tena si baraka na tena that is a that is a curse mm. so kwa hivyo mabesto wangu yenyewe naweza waambia ti 
there is a hope after kutoka life ya constitution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is your message because we want to wind up now. Mm. The message that uko nayo for someone who's watching this, uh, maybe has, as, as, as um, Rehab was mentioning, amekua involved maybe siku moja, mwingine 10, 20 years, mm. and I would like to live. And also, mm. when you wanna facilitate this happening, the pimps or the people mm. who just wanaika wa wasichana, wana wa encourage, wana waletea, wana ume. What, what do you say to that? Okay, kuna, by the way, kuna sahi, malinchetu, mefika kuna watu wana hijack madem, mm -hmm. na wana yaka kwa nyumba, kama bishetu moja ni vile, tumempeta mkwanza haponye uh, uh, kidonda, yeah. unakuta mtu wa chukua kwa street, anachukua mtu wa mfungia kwa hau, hizi ya state kubwa kubwa zinye watu wa tembe yangi, anachukua demu, anamweka kwa nyumba, na mfungia hata for one year, huyo mwanume ananana ya, anampeleka kama kustrip, sana sana tema demu anastrip kwa club, wengi seti wako job, wengine wame hijackiwa, Wako huko wakistrip bati mtu walimshika kwa njia kama muhijak na kona bonsa na mgad. Kwa hivyo usia na tidema na strip kwa klabu fikire wote wengine ni kutaka. Kuna mgini atame hijakiwa na na strip wako hivyo wajua megadiwa. After hapo watukuliwe ngizwe kwa gari na pele kwa nyumbani. Kwa hivyo hizi klabu mingi za kustrip wengine si kutaka kwao. Mm. Hato wengine wangu watafuta watu toa wali enanga wapi. Kwa hivyo kama besetu mwaja lukukuli tuambia kwa hivyo hauzi alikuwa kumejaki watu kama watano na wako huko wali hadi mebisi ya masai wako. Mm. But wacha ni kuambizi klabu wa mademo wa ku strip. Wangina si kutaka kwao. Wangina wa mehaeja. Kiyo tu kiangalea kuna mabonsa wa kando yao, wame wasimamia. Na bebe mtu wako wali ya kwa university, ya li disapia. Kuna sema ngatu mtu wako utajia muona, tu utajia rudi. Mm. But you dream mtu wako wanafanyo nini hii town. Okay. Mm. Alright. Um, Rehab, you're talking about how also people can get involved. First, even as you just give your last words, what should want really people out there to know because this is one of those things people don't want to talk about yeah and someone will be like what are they talking about early morning yeah. but it, it's a situation in the country yeah. it's one of those things that's happening and many people are being affected mm. uh, but not as I mentioned not talked about much yeah. but also there are people who'd like to help out as you said um, mm. in terms of educating some of these children yeah. I'm helping the girls and even the men uh, yeah. get started in different various careers yeah. I mean in one way or another what do you finally say how do you close this some it up powerfully for us I just want them wakwena utu mm. you know how do I say that utu na English wakwena human humanness hum humanity or something yes mm. wakwena utu yeah there are people who want to change if you can be able to help someone walk out of the streets, just call us. I gave out my number earlier yeah. and I'm gonna give it again. For example, we're going to the prisons end of this month, 27th yeah. to 29th. We need to go there, we need to take tissues and bar soaps. We can't afford it, me and Wateri. Mm. We need people to support us, to be able to support others. Mm. It's the same way, just like you brought us to the show, that's your show of appreciation. Mm. You've given us a platform. So we want them to help us, let them help us. And if they want, you know, many, we have an openness in our, in our organization, right. whereby even if you send us a shilling, we will account for that one shilling. Right. Yeah. Okay. It's about touching one soul at a time. My last word is, I read in the book of Proverbs that when you sleep with a prostitute, you have become as a loaf of bread. The last time I checked, bread was 50 bob. Yani atam kate ni expensive kushinda. So the man and the woman, when you come a bread. So think about it and help someone get out of the streets. Mm. My number is 0722 mm. 277 That is S3's number. So S3's number, and yes. you'll fit that number and people can be able to call in. So yes. S3's number, yes. and that's how they can get in touch with you for those who need help, yeah. and also for those who want to assist those who are yes. helping. Yeah. I don't know how to say thank you, but really, this um, the feedback and just hearing your story and putting it out there, mm. um, very important that that has happened. And mm. thank you for being brave and bold enough to talk about it because not many would mm -hmm. and sharing your experiences and challenges because that just points to the gravity mm -hmm. of the situation on the ground and what really is happening many mm -hmm. would want to just ignore and you know decide that's not happening or if it's happening it's those people mm -hmm. but it really could be anybody yeah and if in fact they want us to come and talk to them you know their tv is limited yes but if is. they want also to talk to us like they want us to give inspirational talks mm. or motivational talks we're also open you're mm. open to yeah it. okay yeah all right yeah. Jane Watere thank you very much Rahab Omunzi founder S3 Africa which is stop sex, sex slavery, slavery in Africa. Africa we thank you both we wish you the best it is good what you're doing keep thank it you. up
Yeah, keep it up. Wish you the very best. Thank you. And thank you for staying with us right here on Morning Express 8 21 a.m. It is what an inspirational interview. If that has not inspired you this morning, that really does not matter what you've been through, where you've been at. You can always pick yourself together, put yourself together, and go ahead and be really the best that you can be. Because I think and I believe everybody was created to be something great. But all that power is all within you. It's all about you getting it out. And when you do that, actually helping other people. Now that is powerful, not just staying with it, but going out there and being that source of inspiration like the lovely ladies in studio with me this morning. We take a short break now. When we return, we talk to a man who's also doing quite something very powerful in the prisons. You've had um, Rehab talk about helping those who are in prisons because at the end of the day, you go through incarceration, but there's life after that. For those who get released, uh, what is their hope and how are they being rehabilitated? That's coming up in a short while. It's an inspirational Tuesday. We've got lots in store for you. You have no reason to be discouraged, feel sad or indeed low.